Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you image retouching service. Um, first of all, we are going to open an image uh, from my desktop. Okay, um, I'm going to work on this image uh, for retouching. You will see, uh, you can see there are lots of uh, dust and uh, scratches and the sprinkles in this model's face. So it's very important to uh, retouching this image. And after making this uh, beautification, is it will be very helpful to for studios and uh, website and uh, any magazines or any uh, uh, like website. So guys, uh, I'm gonna working on this file on this image uh, by and then uh, lots of tools and lots of options in Adobe Photoshop, CS3, CSCC, and CS5, and uh, whatever you need to uh, by working this type of image. Okay, here you can see uh, in the left uh, tools, there are lots of tools, and now uh, we are now working uh, on some of tools. Here's the one is Chrome Stamp Tool and Paths Tools, and like, uh, yeah. It's very easy and simple to clone this type of dust and scratches removed from this face. So, well, first of all, uh, we need to make a background layer copy. And we need to work on this layer. Because of, uh, if we work on this original layer, we will not mm, see the changes after make this done file. So, we always need to work on this background copy files and we have to keep the original layer for a review and after uh, for this client and we have to also check the done file and the original file after done okay uh, let's see how we are going to work on this file okay mm, there are lots of uh, scratches and pimples and all over the face so uh, we will uh, work by the patch tool like this you can see there are the patch tool okay the past tool is very easy and simple so you can just uh, select this area and uh, you can take this uh, which whatever you can want by you, know, you need so we have to just select this area and just move to the center so it will be work perfectly so you can see the changes okay uh, okay we'll work uh, we're gonna try this and the other other areas to make this perfect okay you can see the measure and the top uh, dust and scratches we need to work first and then we will work uh, on this very small and very tiny and uh, spots and the spots and the scratches first of all we need to uh, basically remove this dust which are highlight on the specs uh, so it, it gonna be fine and it's gonna be very easy to find out and make out this very nice and perfectly and there are also some tools you can uh, uh, apply it on this retouching services uh, you can also apply this uh, clone stamp tool this clone stamp tool means uh, it's in the control and alter you have to pick the color, pick the area from the left or right or top and bottom and you have to click and alter, alter button and click your left mouse and you, you can already drag and drop to the spot area. You can see, uh, okay, I'm gonna show you again. Just alter, click the alter and left mouse and take the area which you will need and put on the spot area. You can see uh, it's gonna be also fine, okay. Uh, you can see there are uh, opacity on these tools. Uh, if you will put the opacity on 100%, it will be uh, more harder, harder than the original. Okay, I'm going to show on stand. Okay, I'm working on right now 100%, but it will be good on if you will put on this 70 to 80. Okay. Okay, I'm again back again to this past tool because. I'm uh, very um, uh, will work very easily by these tools because it's very easy and simple to uh, just uh, select and just put on this spot area 
select on this port area and put up this uh, fine area so it will be changes uh, you can see um, okay I'm gonna show guys uh, I have already removed lots of videos you can see the changes okay there are lots of tools are in this lots of sport in this space so I'm gonna work it's too much time it will take so some of times uh, so maximum uh, work will be very difficult to remove every part every every spot from the space and every part every dust from and product so it's uh, gonna be uh, very uh, smooth and easy if you guys will follow the store three tools from uh, by Photoshop uh, I'm uh, right now working this path tool you guys uh, can apply the call stamp tool or uh, sports healing press tools and swollen press tools uh, okay it, it, this also fine you just you just put on this sports area and just uh, up and down put an up and down you uh, just left click on your mouse and you can see the remove uh, this sports from the face so it's it's very quick and very easy to use these tools by uh, you can see the healing brush tools okay uh, the healing brush tools are uh, going to be fine because it's it's very easy uh, just click on the spots and this will be a uh, worker from the behind side of this face and side of the spots of this area okay Let's see you can see the changes guys i hope you it's going to be fine okay there are uh, enough tools on this face and this uh, the lips so you can see okay i'm going to work this by has tools again because it's it's very very easy to easy for me and I'm very familiar with these tools. It's, it's very simple and easy. I, I love these tools because it's very simple, it's very easy, and uh, you can see guys, uh, this is very work fast and I just love these tools. You have to remember uh, if you guys make a good retouching, you have to uh, be a a good uh, ideas about this areas which is at uh, the part of this any of the object or any of the images if you if, uh, if we take this spots from this here and if we uh, put in here this will be not work nicely okay okay you can zoom in and zoom out for I must take me check this sports areas of the face. Okay, here you can see a big sports face. Okay, you can see the changes now. There are lots of sports there, and now it's completely looks uh, much better than before. Okay, I'm gonna apply some um, uh, color correction uh, on this uh, top of the layer. I'm gonna make the brighten and the sharpen. I'm gonna put this in uh, 20 and uh, the contrast 50. Okay. You can see this a uh, little more lighter. You can guys uh, adjust my shadow highlight and. You can see there's uh, it's much better uh, it's standing fine you can see the changes on the shadowing areas you can see this. okay now guys I'm gonna work in the teeth this part is very very nasty and very uh, looks not right I'm gonna make a clipping on this teeth area for selecting this teeth only uh, I don't want to work on this uh, outside of the teeth so I have to clip and I have to select the teeth area by clipping out of Photoshop pen tool I, I you guys uh, see in my previous uh, tutorials and uh, there I, I have uh, given you guys a tutorial for clipping okay I'm gonna select these tools and I'm gonna make it further now I'm gonna work on these files and normally the teeth uh, will be fine on the dog tool. Uh, let's see here, dog tool. Okay. You guys here, see this is gonna be white and more lighter. Now I have to work on some 
uh, clone stamp tool. It is, there's a, you can see the clone stamp tool have a hardness and this, as like I have uh, told you guys in, a, in the previous tutorials, uh, every tools have an option to make it uh, your customize. Uh, you have to, you can uh, make it customize you know, by uh, clicking the right mouse of your computer. So you guys, if you think this will not fine, you can apply this fast tool or you can apply this clone stamp tool. It depends on you. Uh, basically, uh, you have to uh, work properly because every image has many differences, many many problems. So you guys also work uh, by uh, there's lots of tools, and you guys have to make a more ideas. Okay, I'm gonna make this tip like um, uh, here, and uh, I'm gonna put this here. I can uh, check this opposite. Okay, you can see a uh, little also. Okay, I have already changed this major, major uh, retouching areas, and I can also just fix this area by patch tool. It's faster. I can take these dark areas and put on the top of this teeth and it will be work completely. Okay, now I, I have to apply the sub dark areas in this teeth because it's it's completely dark. I have to make it more lighter. You can see uh, there are some changes in my teeth areas and this image. So I think this will be fine. Okay, now uh, it's uh, it's al almost done and there's retouching it is. Now some of uh, uh, Photoshop uh, have some plugin software and you can apply the software for this smooth skin. Um, you, know, you can. So I, I'm gonna apply some uh, one of these uh, plugins here. And we just work on this skin it is okay. Mm. Okay, guys, and this. This, you can see the skin uh, has been matched some uh, plugins and uh, it looks more perfect and more natural. Okay, there you can see a line, uh, it's, it's made by template uh, automatically. Uh, so I have to remove this line from the image to make it more perfect and any kind of pickup. So I'm going to work in this uh, leaves and some of these eyes. I have Okay, now well, you can see the image uh, is almost almost done, and you can uh, just remove this back area and just make it more more natural, more perfect. Okay, guys, you can think if this is more, um, uh, it's much much more than you want, so you can you can reduce this opposite from here. You have to, if you can 60, this will be fine. Okay, now you can see this changes from the image. Okay, it's uh, completely uh, done right now. So you guys uh, apply this uh, some more tools and more um, options by yourself. So it's the basic on the first of this basic work in retouching service. There are many ways to work and there are many tools to process any this type of retouching and this, any object any 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 of this product or and model. So you can guys uh, apply and you can guys practice by doing these tutorials and making it 
it is a small perfect you can see that was the before and uh, we have met this after i hope guys you like this tutorial and i will be back soon with some new tutorials thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Clippingpathhouse.com Photoshop image editing service provider company.